Welcome to part four of WWE 2K17, and today I am starting my title defense. First off, I am facing Jova. You know, I'm s uh, I'll bring it up later. Actually, no, might as well now, since there's a bit of a pause. All right, off we go. Intro time. Um, as soon as it loads, because it takes a little bit longer, because it's a blank. Okay, take it away. New Jersey. Random. <sighs> It's funny how even Steven Universe recognizes how New Jersey can be Jersey. Okay. I like how they didn't even try to disguise it, though. <laughs> and first off, and first off, as per tradition, the challenger enters. So, are you actually gonna... I don't want to do this shit. Attack him! Ow. 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 I'm not going to defend my title against this Phoenix White loving pleb. Take that! You just quoted Phoenix Wright. Ah, oh. well, take that. And that. Uh, 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 uh. This is for all those times you slacked off DMC. But DMC kind of ow. What did I ever do to that game except ow? Call it out for being. Not that well, fun. Not well, you you made me feel like a shithead for liking that game. Well, then you should get counseling for that, you cheater. <laughs> uh, Pedro, aren't you yes. gonna come out and sort this out? Uh, nah. And wow. Shimmy, what about you? Are you gonna do anything? I wash my hands of this whole matter. Shame, dweebs. You must realize that I have Again, my Shiro, reasons. you're my manager. You're supposed to help. Wait, I thought she was uh... my manager. But she's mine, too. Okay, the match has properly begun now. Really? It's just begun now? Yes. They rung that, the bell. That, that first part didn't count. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jova, the match doesn't start till the bell rings. I hell uh... says otherwise. <laughs> Look at me. I attack Jova from behind, because that's what he... I, and, and Jova, you can't call me out. You attacked Jericho from behind in your last match. I did? Yes, you did. Wasn't I being controlled by you, though? And... Uh, okay. Here. Maybe you should use your head more often. Gee, I wonder. Alright. Now to put you down once and for all! What difficulty did you set the AI on, by the way? Normal. Of course. One! Two! What? Oh, bullshit! Alright, that's it. I'm fed up at this. I am... I am throwing this match! Okay. Now to get a... Uh... <laughs> hey, Jova! I'm getting a bit batty here! <laughs> hey, want some more? Here you go then! Bah! Ah, da! Ah, da! want some more? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I, I, I case. Yeah, but I remember, won! You didn't win the title though. WWE rules, you can't win a title by DQ. Of course. Okay, so that didn't go well. So you cheated. <laughs> General Manager Deji was not impressed by Dwibs' cowardly methods to retain his title. So he demanded a title rematch inside a steel cage where cheating was impossible. Oh boy. Did you put also, it on hard mode this time? It, again, it's still normal mode. Also, this is the one of the few times we're having late music is really unfitting, but I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, okay, steel cage match. There are three ways to win. Pinfall, submission, or by escaping the cage. Wait, to win? To win, yeah. So, okay, what's stopping you from escaping the cage except for that? Because because you can easily get up and um, pull me back down from escaping. Oh, you have to climb. Then. Well, you can also go out the door, but for some reason you have to crawl out of it. Ow. 
that tough, tough fighting turning to get. I'm fight A, we're in a steel cage, fighting, I can fight dirty, I'm like, what? Uh, so, Pedro, have yes. you anything to say? Uh, well, I'm just trying to watch the match. And what about that, those methods I took earlier to retain the title? Well, uh, it's you, so that's to be expected. I um, mean, well, to be third, it's you controlling your fighter while fighting an AI on normal mode, so... Yeah. Okay. Again, you should have made these. Um, CPU only matches. To, for, for Don't worry, I do, I do a CPU only match in the finale. Well, for a title you, defense? Well, but that's the thing, dude. You should have done this for all the parts. And. Because this is not very so fair, is China. it? Well, remember, yeah. remember, Pedro, I lost a match even though I was controlling someone. I know, yeah, but, the but that was a four way one, though. No, no, it was a singles match. And yeah, when you were fighting as one of us, though. And there you go. There you go. I have once again won. I am undefeated! I'll just jump. Yeah. Hardest fought battles, really? <laughs> Rigged! <laughs> <laughs> well... And that Jova was your last chance. Yep. Amazing! Did we <laughs> watch the same match? <laughs> okay, who's next? And so Jova bossed his opportunity at the title, <laughs> and even his lowering skills could help. Uh Okay, Dwibs, how about we record a match between you and me on Smash again? So then... GM Deji handed the next shot of the title to the anarchist Pedro in a ladder match. Here's how it went. <laughs> With Sonic music. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sonic Jam music to be more exact. Oh my god, I just remember Mania's around the corner. I know. Not, not so much around the corner. It's apparently going to release in May, so. Okay, Knight of Champions. Okay, here we go. I'm assuming you guys know the rules of a ladder match. Uh, it's a step ladder. <laughs> Basically, Jova, a ladder match is exactly what the title implies. It's a it's a match where you can use the ladder and uh, go ahead, it's, uh, you have to climb the ladder and grab the championship as how hanging above the ring to win. That's the only way you can win. Specific. Yeah. Well, it's, okay. it's, it's Down the, comes Pedro. Well, Job, it's for the sake of having um, uh, a, di a different type of match for the sake of making it more interesting. Instead of the, the usual oh, rules okay. apply, uh, instead of the usual rules applying, it's not so much about uh, pinning. It's about uh, uh, being Pedro, able. Pedro, you might want to turn around. Don't. Who's the anarchist here? Yeah. Ah, this is for what you did last week! What did he do last week? I don't know! Pedro? Uh, 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 basically, Jova, this is, uh, last week is usually a term used a lot in WWE for because of the feuds, because there's usually when there's a feud, Noodle there's, incident. there's always some kind of thing that takes place every week. So there's always some kind of payback for, for, for last week. This is... this is for... bashing that thing I liked! Again! So, it's a noodle incident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, last last week, um, I went... last week, I, I played a game that I liked, and Pedro said he didn't like it, and so unfort and unfortunately I have a hard time contemplating the fact that people don't like something that I like. <gasps> so, you embody the internet. How insulting. Yeah, grr. So, well, mind. So basically, you, uh, so so basically, uh, um, uh, you're like uh, that uh, guy. Um, what was his name? I forgot. No. Joke about it. Hey, That'd look. be like it'd be like if. Um, Let me see if I can it'd find be his like name. If, it'd, be, it'd be like if she were crazily attacked me because I didn't like Korean music. 
You know, it's funny. I found this wiki uh, on these stories for characters. Basically, apparently there's a mode where people can actually mod certain video game characters into it, and they actually have full stories for them. All right. Uh, this ladder match will be a bottle. It's, what's really funny is stories like... Uh, Hmm. Okay, yeah, Phoenix's story is actually pretty okay, funny. Okay, here's, here's how the ladder... Here's how grabbing the title works. Use yeah. R to move that little slider around, the spinning ring. Basically, you have to... It's like a. It's like unlocking a padlock, pretty much. That yeah. red dot there, you have to go to hit that little thing in the center. Ow! So Ow. basically, the idea is to stay on the ladder for long yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. As you can probably Ow. tell, it's not Ow. as easy as uh, it's much harder than it than it looks. So what happens if you knock out someone? Oh wait, yeah. They, There's uh, no knockouts in the. The only way for that match to end is for someone to take out the title from there. Yeah. Oh no, Pedro is gonna win. Not if I have anything to say about it. And is this a title of defense? There. Yeah. This. This is for well, but. Your well, uh, uh, ladder matches are usually used specifically for title defenses, unless it's uh, the money in the bank match. And that was that was for your bragging every time Portugal beat England. Uh, sure. When was the last time that happened? <laughs> Two thousand six. Yeah. It anyway. The point is, um, uh, the money. If it, if this was a, there's also another variant of ladder match called the money in the bank match, which is a match that always takes place um, every WrestleMania. Where basically it actually, actually has its own pay per view now. Oh, okay, never mind then. Basically, it, the Money in the Bank ladder match is basically six people, um, all in one ladder match, and uh, there's a suitcase instead of a title. And whoever gets that suitcase gets uh, a contract that allows them to call a title match whenever they wow. so please. Uh, to give you an idea, Jova, if they want, they can. Uh, it's such a blank. Uh, use it whenever you want contract that you can that if the for example there was one time where Edge uh, was one of the most famous heels back in the day he waited until John Cena who was the champion at the time for, for a point where he just got out of a really brutal match and he was so completely physically destroyed and then he cashed in his contract right there and then so he could easily beat him and take the title and I won the, oh. and I won the title surprise Dick surprise move. Actually, actually, there was a time in re more recently where you, apparently you can cash in a title while a match is going on. Yeah, yeah you can do it any time. It says it right there in the time. Literally any time. Hey guys, I won again! Yay! I am undefeated! Where's this competition? Again, rigged. Yeah. Rigged? I ain't no rigger. Okay then. Really, you're no rigger then. Let's see you and Dwibs look to be unstoppable. So now who are you going to defend your title against? But GM Deji was not done yet, ordering Dwibs to once again defend his title, this time against both Jova and Pedro. So what exactly is, what did you do to piss in off GM? Hell in a cell match. Jesus. Dwibs, what the heck? Wow, the general manager has it out for you. So Dwibs, what, what exactly is the backstory of the feud between you and GM Deji? Um, he tried have, to steal being the Brooklyn one. I um, I have different opinions than he does. Also, remember, dude, so you oh, tried to steal his role. That. Remember, dude, you <laughs> tried to steal his role as the Brooklyn. Well, he lives in a state that just took the name York and put New in front of it. Hey, that's mm. my state. <laughs> this is, uh, okay, so GM Deji apparently really wants the Dwebs to lose the title. Yeah, now I've got a triple threat Hell in the Cell match. Well, you know, he, what he should have done is, he should have had it be a two-on-one tag team match. You know, well, you know what... Hey, Jay, that's, you, can't have, you can't put the title on the line in that one. Oh, you know, in this game anyway. Really? Well, gr well, granted, yeah, maybe not in the game, but, uh... I'm pretty sure, because in the WWE pretty much goes, does a lot of crazy shit, I wouldn't be surprised if it would happen at some point. You know, speaking of New York, it's funny, but yeah, when you think about it, both of our 2016 presidential candidates hail from New York. It's interesting you say that, Jova, because um, uh, here in Portugal something similar is happening, but just not with government, but uh, with one of our uh, soccer clubs, Sporting. Basically... Um, the club is basically having its worst season ever right now, 
and uh, and and we're literally uh, having elections to elect a new president in, uh, in March, and the the, the candidate that's uh, basically trying to get it, he has he wants to win it, Donald Trump style. <laughs> well, wouldn't surprise me this way. Oh, and don't, don't, oh, and, uh, don't worry, guys. I don't attack you from behind in this one. Really? <laughs> well, even if he did, it's a Hell in a Cell match, so it's not. It's not like there's any rules. Hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, as you're walking down to the ring. Okay. Also, this um, theme. Also, you p also, this theme you picked is a bit racist for considering it's Jova. Again, I, I swear yes. I picked it. I swear I picked it because Phoenix you know, Joe, by the usual, stereo, uh, usual stereotype of associating uh, African Americans with hip hop or rap and shit. <laughs> Although there is that stereotype that we're better singers than Caucasians. Mm -hmm. That is a stereotype. Oh, Don't and then. Um... guys, because Sunday School Musical runs that stereotype into the ground. That reminds me, oh. one of these days, just. <laughs> that reminds me, one of these days, just to be a dick, I'm gonna pick High School Musical for a commentary. Yeah, it's okay, oh. I like High School uh, Musical. Oh, well, she we. Really? In the. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Let me explain. I. I legitimately like High School Musical 3 because that's the best of them, honestly, and I have to agree with Doug that. Yeah, people tend to try and dogpile that movie a bit too much. However, I will agree that the that the first High School Musical, looking back at it, is uh, quite a low budget. Hey. Considering um, how much Disney hyped that up as well. Yeah. Uh, hey, 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 Jova, hey, hey, Jova, but, but Jova, what about that new movie made by the director of High School Musical, The Descendants? <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait to have a look at that. For better or for worse, because I'm sure it'll make a great commentary. Anyway, I was just gonna say to uh, Shiwa, you've got another match in the finale. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wonder who's it against. We'll see. I'm keeping that a surprise, but for now we got this and part five to go before we get to that. And after the finale, there's an extra tag team part. Do you have the finale be in the WrestleMania stage? Um, I think I do. Because uh, it kind of fits. Yeah. You know, WrestleMania being the being the big climax. Basically, she wrote the WrestleMania oh, pay-per-view is... Um, oh, go ahead. Oh, and uh, in the next part, um, I'm going to redesign that title a little bit to have our actual logo on it. Sure. Oh, you can uh, do that. Uh, basically, yeah. she wrote the WrestleMania is the final, is a pay-per-view. It's basically the season finale of WWE, uh, in a way. Mm -hmm. All right, Hell in a Cell, one of the most brutal matches in all WWE. Unlike, uh, unlike the cage match that uh, Joe and Duiz were having earlier, you cannot escape the Hell in a the Cell. So it's uh, it's really about pinning, and, or, or, and of course you can use the cage as a weapon itself. So there's no actual. Well, actually there is a door. I don't remember. Isn't there a door that you can open, Dips? Nope. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I'm probably I'm thinking of uh, oh oh page and Pedro lost the use of both of his knees. Hmm. And of course, he's gonna get a weapon. Oh, sledgehammer! Yeah, who you know, these guys. Who do you, who do you think you are? Who do you, who do you think you are? Triple H. Well, I'm well, I'm no Triple H. I missed. Wow, uh, these guys must be pretty good actors to oh. send off a sledgehammer, not actually damage them in real life. Oh yeah, no, like they said, like they themselves said it. It takes a lot of pr just to have the. I mean, uh, f for them to do those moves. I'm sure with they've had some accidents along the way. Well, this is the fact that I'm. Pre I'm well, this is the fact that I'm pretty sure the sled for the sake of safety that sledgehammer is not an actual real sledgehammer. It's uh, made of a specific material. I'm terrible with these weapons. I've missed twice. I mean, uh, I mean, technically, it would be possible for them to, you know, if they if they train themselves well to pretend uh, uh, they're really doing it with a real sword hammer. But it would be incredibly dangerous, and like it would it, it would be such a huge oh. hammer. It would be such a huge like it, it's it's it, real. It, 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 it's it, it's 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 a lawsuit uh, just hope uh, waiting to happen. So it's just better off not to do that. I kind of have to wonder, but um, is the outcome of these wrestling matches always, you know, decided behind the scenes, or...? Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it is. They have a writing staff Ow! that decides, um... My face! My beautiful face! Uh-oh. 
Yeah, Jova, you've got to do a little bit more damage to me than that. What they usually do, Jova, is okay, granted, I'm, I'm granted, I haven't touched, I've never written it, but uh, from what I, from what I can gather. The point is, they usually have fixed it. Say, okay, you're supposed to be winning the match in this specific way. Like for example, let me give you an example. Um, back in the day, there was a, a running thing with Chris Benoit and Orlando Jordan, where basically they had this rivalry where um, Orlando Jordan was the U um, U.S. champion, and Chris Benoit beat him in literally 22 minutes, 22 seconds. Yeah, right. Mm. So basically, they had this feud where he kept coming back for rematches, and every time they had a rematch, Chris Benoit beat him in less time than the previous time. You know, <laughs> obviously, obviously, this was a written thing. Obviously, there's no way this was that. Uh, basically, the, the, the writers thought, okay, it would be really cool if we had this this awesome thing where he keeps getting pissed off because he gets get beaten beaten less time every time. So basically, okay, just uh, in, just do some kind of moves here and there, and then have the um, the submission hold, and then they'll tap out. But, 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 but usually there's also something, for example, the finisher. Usually a, a wrestler always wins by after using the finisher. So there's like, okay, right before right before you when you're done and you've done the, the specific moves you've planned for this match, go ahead oh, and do your pin, finisher pin, and then pin. Pin, 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 Oh, Pedro just stopped it. Mm. I mean, the only wrestler who I can definitely think was not written, or at least I hope he wasn't, because I cannot even imagine how would someone even write that dialogue, is the Ultimate Warrior. Because I have no idea how can someone actually write something, here, say this on, on camera. <laughs> I ba basically, I basically, Shiroi, um, the Ultimate Warrior was a wrestler from back in the 90s who his promos, and because you know what a promo is, it's basically one of those segments where they're just talking at the camera, you know, threatening their future opponent or something like that. Yeah. Uh, his promos were, as just put it very well in our commentary of, of his comic book, incomprehensible at best. Because, yeah. be because whenever the guy starts talking, <laughs> I'm not even kidding, Shiroi. It's not even one of those things where I, 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 when I, I'm not even kidding. When he starts talking, I literally completely lose track of what the hell the man is even trying to get across. <laughs> Although, Shiroi, oh, Shiroi, Shiroi, you think that's bad? You know how you may have some trouble reading some comic books? Oh no, Pedro has done his signature move. Shiroi? Yeah, yeah she's hearing, go ahead. What if I told you that there was a comic book that has no speech bubbles, has text just overlaid over every single picture, yeah, and it's written I like a script? It. It's basically the well, Ultimate Warrior comic. <laughs> basically, she, well, what, what actually, they did... Oh, okay. No, no, no. Oh, no actually, there's something even worse than the Ultimate Warrior comic. Marvel. Oh, Marvel, yeah. Issue number oh, three, oh, specifically. DDT! DDT on Pedro! For the cover! Wait. One! Two! No! Sure, basically, sorry, imagine a comic that starts off as a stupid, stupid, stupid parody that can't even really work as a parody, and then goes into something that tries to be ideologic and tells you that you should be sad about the fact that molecules have to die for you to live. You know one thing that you should really implement in these games at some point, Dwebs? Uh, huh? One of those things where when you're a, when you're in a really really good spot where you uh, pin someone and it really looks Ooh. like you're going to win, but then he 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 escapes the um, the, the pin right at the last second. They could have some one of those things where the guy gets so surprised that he's literally you know and they even um, and you even do a close shot of his face in disbelief. Like uh oh, the, uh oh, uh oh. Well, you do that. Uh oh, Joe's game ready for the finisher, guys. It's game ready for the finisher. What? Oh no! I reversed it and kicked of him in the back of the knee. And now I get back I'm, up. I just, and I'm, 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 I'm just done at this point, I guess. So came for the cover. One, two, One. three. Yes! Gee. I'm still undefeated. I didn't predict this at all. You're right. What would you say about that match? It was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> You know this goes, your boy. I get the I, I, I get the feeling Dwibs himself is um, sleeping with Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how he gets uh, the writers to have always have him. He's the new John Cena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Dwe 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 Dwebs is the new John Cena. He's that uh, champion that he everybody wants that everybody wants to see get beaten and yet, but WWE for some reason has a hard on for him. Uh, he, I'm the heel version.
Basically, she was this. Uh, John Cena was probably the most annoying long-time champion of all time because nobody really yeah, liked him. Yeah, had enough of Twibbs hogging up the title and stripped him of it straight after the match. Right. And banned Twibbs from competing for the title. And for now, uh, and which now Twibbs is the most popular in, anger. in wrestling. <laughs> which of course means that Twibbs is going to a triple threat match between himself because he's the boss and can do that apparently. Well, it's not it be the first time. Pedro and Jova for the Squirm Championship, which can be seen in the next part. But Dwibs was scheming for revenge. They took his title. They took his title. His title. So yeah, for no valid reason at all, I got stripped of my title. All right. I mean, come on. I'm a fair and fighting champion. Why would you strip me of no, it? No, you aren't. Anyway, <laughs> see you for the finale, everybody. Actually, actually, oh, actually, part whatever. Actually, Next part. Uh, see ya. Next part where, where Deji will be getting in on the action. See you, everybody. Okay. See ya. See ya.